Hi, this is National Tournament Director Tim Just, the 80-20 TD. What does that mean? 20% effort, 80% return. One of the ways you can service your customers is to hand in your tournament as a reading report online. To do that, you're going to have to create some files. I'm going to show you how to do that with the program SwissSys. I've already opened the program and I've already loaded the tournament that I want to create these files for. You don't really have to load the tournament first but it sure makes the job a lot easier. I have the open, reserve, and unrated sections. I'm going to go to utilities and I'm going to select ratings report for USCF. You'll notice in the screen that popped up only two of the sections appear. What we really want to do is we want to add another section because we did have that unrated section. You'll get a list of sections that you can choose from. You'll also be allowed to, if you so desire, to come up here and start browsing and find the tournament that you want to have more sections added to. I'm going to select the unrated section. I can double click it or I can come down here and I can open the tournament. It's confirming that this is what I want and it only had one round. Read it over and if that's what you want, say OK. Notice that that tournament has been added to our list. You'll also notice that the open and reserve section have 5C extensions while the unrated section only has a 1C extension. That means our unrated section only went one round and it's been completed. On this list, you always want to have your C file for each section and preceding that C, you always want to have the last number round that you had for that section. So in the open and reserve sections, it was a five round tournament. That's complete. Well, we really don't need this unrated section and for our purposes, we need to get rid of it because we can't rate something that's unrateable. We're going to remove it. You go below and you fill out whatever information is requested. In this case we're going to call the tournament practice 3. Beginning date, ending date. I'm going to press the tab key and I jump right to the beginning date and I'm going to make sure that I get it right. 01, 05, 09. Tab. Oops! That's what happens when you use an 09 instead of paying attention to this little hint down here to use 2009. It's probably a good idea to just use all four digits for the year whenever you fill out anything for USCF or in a ratings report. Well, I'm going to press tab and keep on working here. The tournament ended on 01, 05, 2009. I have an affiliate ID that I use all the time so I've checked this box down here save affiliate info as defaults. That's why you see this is already filled in here. Earlier I filled in the city, the state, the zip and the country that the tournament's being held in. Whenever I create a file for my hard drive we don't send a table anywhere we click none. Don't forget if it's a Scholastic event to click Scholastic. Your rating fee will be slightly less. I'm done with this page I'll click Done. A new screen comes up for the Open section. You'll notice that it says Open section. You can change the name of the section here. You can put in the Chief TD. You can put in the Assistant TD. You can save that information so if your tournament directors are the same more often than not, they'll always appear in these slots and it'll save you a little bit of keyboarding. And then choose the rating system, Regular, Quick, or Dual. OK. Reserve section is the same information. I've read it over and checked it. I can see that's everything I want. OK. Now comes the fun part. You're going to have to put this tournament file that's being created someplace where the USCF software can find it when you ask it to go and upload it. The easiest thing to do is put it on your desktop. It's not all the most effective or efficient thing, but it certainly is the easiest. By the way, this screen will look slightly different if you're using 
Vista. In Vista, you'll probably have to save everything to a public folder. That seems to be, from my experience, the only folder that the USCF software is able to read and upload files from. However, this is XP, and what I want to do is I want to go to my programs, and I want to put this file that's being created with all the other files for this tournament. So I've clicked on program files. I'm going to scroll down till I find my Swiss folder. And you'll notice I've bought a lot of versions of Swiss Sys over the years. This one happens to be Swiss Sys 7. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go to events. And this is my practice tournament. I create a file folder for every different tournament that I run. It sure makes trying to find stuff a lot easier for me. However, you might have a method that you like a lot better. All that's required is, is that you know where you're creating these files. Practice. And since this is where I'm creating them, I'm going to say OK. There's a lot of information here. Most of it is old because it was created and written back in the days when we turned in disks. You are creating some files. Just say OK and no, whenever you dump something to the hard drive from this program, you do not want to verify it. Now you're all done, and in the next video, I'll show you how to upload those files from the USCF TD Affiliate page. Thanks for being with us.